we want to go home to Germany normally. We can't, we can't get our belongings out there. I think I'm flying home my girlfriend this weekend because we can't take this anymore here. That's not normal. The frustration behind that, if I probably would smash this wall in now, I'm pretty certain the police comes and arrests me to damage his property. But nobody reacted for us in any, any way. And my simple question here is here, why is nobody doing anything? This house yeah. But that's not just a normal wall, that's a brick wall. You can see here the bricks. It's like a foot between and behind is the door and the door lock is sealed as well. That was our entrance. In the living room oh. and then you come into the kitchen and then we have two bedrooms upstairs. I mean, how does it feel to see this, see this here today? Sickening. Yeah. Sickening. Yesterday, the whole day, we have mental breakdowns in the evening. Yesterday afternoon, 12 o'clock, we went to the vet to vaccinate our, our animals. So if we need to, we can travel with them. And you're sitting outside in 35 degrees heat, homeless, not knowing where to go. It makes you sick. It makes you sick mentally and physically in the end. We are just drained. The only concern was the animals, whereby we're pretty sure that the chickens and the rabbits are dead in there. I'm claiming on this on over 15 phone calls between police, animal welfare, back and forward. That's not on us. I refuse to access through his property to get anything out. The police insist that it's a civil matter, but it's clearly not. It's a criminal eviction here, forceful eviction, and nobody helps us to get access even. We can't get anything out here, and it's draining. We've been homeless yesterday. Thanks God there's some good people out here, and someone gave us free accommodation. But even we spend all our money on, on Airbnbs before, on generators. We have, we have nothing left here in this country, to be very, very honest. And it's just unbelievable, unbelievable frustrating that nobody comes, that the police insist at the moment it's still a civil matter. No, it's not. There's thousands and thousands of euro in there of my personal belongings. I don't have access. Why is nobody coming and taking this, this down? He broke so many laws. It's not only cementing a door. It's a non-registered contract where the Housing Authority didn't react with over two weeks. Now they're starting acting on it. Three years of rent. I have the first BOV transfer on August 2021. And now the last one was this August 2023. I mean, evidence of living here for three years, you can't deny. Nobody can deny. I want to see any one of those authorities sitting in their chairs and answering the phone calls and sending us from one place to the other one. What happens if their belongings are locked in somewhere? What they would do? Why? Why is nobody coming and helping us? But I'm sorry if I'm breaking out in tears because it is too much. Don't know who I should plead to, if it's the highest person in the police, if it's, I don't know, someone from parliament, if it's Robert himself. And I state this here, we don't want to move out. We have a lovely garden out there with all our products in there. We wanted to have them and we asked him to get a written letter with a three months notice and we would have happily been gone. Not a problem. We have the writing. It's greed in my, in my mind, it's pure greed. We paid always our rent. The only thing we didn't agree with is that he never started the renovations after seven months. It's our home. We wanted to live there for a year in comfort. He never did something for seven months. Why should I pay then the full amount? We have water coming in in the kitchen. We have water coming in from the store. We have water coming in from the roof. We said, please renovate everything and then it's worth me staying there, not a problem. And we paid. Does it still feel like that? I mean, when you come here now, you see this locking the door, I mean. Yes, I have enough in there. And I would even sleep there comfortably again. In fact, I want, I want that we can stay there the next three months. What is our legal right to? Not a problem. Absolutely no problem, but not like this. I mean, this doesn't even happen to you in Baghdad. I don't know why it happens here. We're a European country. What we really want is that someone takes action, opens our door, that we can get into our belongings, back in our home, what is legally and rightfully our home for the next three months? And I want to stay here as well. I want that he gets punished, that they make him install the electricity on the legal matters, that this will be registered with the housing authorities, and that we stay here for the next three months. That's what I want. It's our home, we've worked for it. <laughs>